Hi, aloha. Welcome to our show. We're the voice for the Hispanic Chamber of Commerce here in Hawaii. My name is Barbara DeLuca, president and co-founder. And joining me today is Marisol Ruiz. She's our vice president and co-founder of the Hispanic Chamber of Commerce Hawaii. So we founded the Hispanic Chamber in 2019 uh, because we felt that we you know, wanted to be a resource for our Hispanic business owners while also giving back to our community. So today we have a great guest for you. His name is Edwin Rogers, and he is a Hispanic Chamber of Commerce member, and he's also giving back to the community and what he's doing with his platform with Instant Edit. So we'd like to welcome him to our show. Welcome, Edwin. Thank you for joining us today. Thank you so much for having me. I'm so excited to be here. Of course. So why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself? Sure. Um, so my name is Edwin Rogers, and I am a native New Yorker, born and raised in Brooklyn, but from Dominican descent. So uh, I grew up pretty much in New York, but Spanish was my first language. And uh, it wasn't until kindergarten that I learned English. And I uh, have a career in New York and spent pretty much most of my life there and recently moved to Hawaii in the past two years. My goal is to help build the tech community here in Hawaii and grow tech talent with my platform, instantedit.com. Thank you so much for a wonderful introduction, Edwin. We're so happy that you're here with us. Um, yeah, can you tell us a little bit about the Instant Edit platform as a freelance marketplace? Sure. So. In the beginning of this year, to um, 2023, I was really thinking deeply around workforce development and how could here in Hawaii we stop brain drain. Uh, so someone graduates college and they are looking for a high paying job. So then they leave the island and go to the mainland for a high paying work. So what I, what I thought could be a solution would be what if remote work, especially high paying tech remote work was um, kind of brought here. So basically I've been working with young college students, teaching them how to work on their portfolio. And then initially what I was going to do was send them to um, marketplaces like Fiverr or um, marketplaces like Upwork and Freelancer. But I found that that was such a difficult setup. Their focus is hiring someone um, for the cheapest price is the furthest away. So you're not going to get that local feel. So what I decided to do was build my own platform that would allow for whoever is logging in to actually reach out to the closest designer first, rather than get someone 10 time zones away that doesn't really understand your culture. I wanted to grow the local um, freelancer community first. And so in, in my platform, you can sign up, become a designer, or um, offer a service, and then local businesses would be able to find you and, contract, and contact you. I'm so glad we found you because I did go on to Fiverr um, a couple years ago when we were looking to rebuild our website, and I got inundated in my inbox and there were so many emails to go through i just gave up it was too much because it's a global platform and you're right it's, it's not always the cheapest and i'd rather um you know give back to the community and and support our local business owners here and freelancers so i think what you're doing is great yeah so the goal is to build up um a kind of like um i would say apprenticeship program where let's say you're a young student and you want to learn how to become a designer, um, you, there's always this kind of catch-22. Um, in order to get a job, you need experience, but in order to get experience, you need a job. Well, if we work together, I would create a portfolio and teach the students how to serve nonprofits like the Chamber, working on small things like social media brands. And I found that clients are the best teachers of all. You'd have real work for your portfolio and you're serving the community and maybe volunteering for nonprofits, but then actually getting paid while you learn with businesses. 
that's going to be great once you get is it up and running or it is up and running it's a small cohort now but it's growing okay if anybody's interested they could go to the website and reach out to me okay yes we like we need help with social media we have pages but i feel like i'm posting at the wrong times and you know just a little bit of help like that would be awesome (laughs) yeah 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 so that's my goal is to help local nonprofits get um pretty much free help but that also benefits the the, um, participants and they have amazing work that they could put onto their portfolios and eventually be hired by businesses local businesses ideally for and Edwin, correct me if I'm wrong, but you also, you know, if somebody isn't a, you know, a nonprofit or something like that. So I will use me as an example, right? I'm not yeah. really wrong with, for example, social media or um, websites and things like that. Uh, I'm more, you know, numbers type of person. Uh, is that something that services that you offer where you can help if I'm saying, hey, you know, here's where I'm thinking, you know, the direction I want to take my business in, but I don't have a logo and I don't have a website. Like, is that something that you can do? Because there's so many cookie cutter, you know, websites out there. Uh, Is that something that you offer? And if so, can you talk a little bit about it? Sure. That's exactly what I do. I do custom designs, logos, um, but not just. So I think there's a conception from business owners that if I put my website out into the internet, you know, Customers are going to flood in the door, but it's more than that that we offer here at Instanet. It's it's more like a strategy behind how do you convert customers? What is the kind of lifetime value of one more customer for you? So let's say you're a real estate agent and you get one more customer. That can be need a thousand dollars of extra commission for you. So the goal should be to give something so that you can get their email and stay top of mind on their inboxes. So I will create a not just a brand, not just a website, but a website that actually converts to sales and to leads and that grows your business. And so it's a, it's a, a relationship that we work together creating blog posts for your social media so that Google can find you and that people can find you. That's the goal is to, to grow together because if you just think that you're going to put up a website with an about and, a, and me and a, and a contact page, it, it might never see any traffic. You need to, the more work you put into it, the the more you get out of it. And the, the benefits and the rewards can be astronomical for businesses. And you know what else brings sales is digital um, uh, virtual staging. So recently yeah. I, I reached out to Edwin and I had a listing that it, it's vacant and we weren't getting a lot of showings on it. So I had him do a virtual stage in on one of the, the living room, the main picture. And it looks so much better. We're going to bring that up on the screen for you a before and after. And he was able to turn it around and get back to me within 24 hours. So great job. Yeah. Yeah. So just to give you a little context. So she just went with her iPhone to this listing. And if you put this image on your, you know, this is the house that you're gonna buy. It's, it looks empty, it looks vacant. But if we go to the next image, I'll explain, all of that furniture, this is the same image, is using 3D models. So this looks like it's a real furnished, furnished apartment. And what it costs for real estate brokers, they have in, in reality to do what is called staging, is they have to have some moving company, take all those furniture, put stuff on the walls, put up a carpet, then a photographer come in and shoot that. That could be like a couple thousand dollars. Instead, it was really affordable. And within 24 hours, we virtually staged the apartment so that she could show a listing of a furnish, what it looks like as a furnished apartment and have a better chance of, of getting a sale. So these are the kind of services that we offer. And as a member of the Hispanic Chamber of Commerce yourself, you are offering our members a discount. You want to talk about that? Sure. Um, I have a soft spot in my heart for um, the Hispanic community and as well as um, for business owners. So I'm offering 20% off custom website design services um, and with multiple payment options that will make it really affordable for you to be able to start with a custom design as opposed to, like you were saying before, a cookie cutter template. It's not that that's something that we don't offer, you can do that, but custom designs 
with um, with kind of like social media strategy, blogging, and all these rich features are going to make you succeed. And so this 20% off, off discount helps um, will help these businesses um, get started. That's awesome. I think I'm going to be uh, taking advantage of that, Edwin. But there's something to be said. If anybody uh, thinks at all like I do, I'm very old fashioned in the sense like I like to talk to a live person on the phone. I like to see you. You know, I don't want to deal with, you know, just a chat, you know, online. If I have a question with like a website or something or, you know, even with like, you know, Amazon and stuff like that, you know, it's if you have a live person and then here, if we can have somebody that, hey, let's meet at a coffee shop that can actually there's there's that personal touch which I, I think is really important and has gotten lost with all of the advancements of technology right so i think that's really cool that you're you're here in our backyard to offer these services yeah and so if, and if you're in a neighboring island i work together with people on zoom calls and so that's actually the original idea around instant edit is that you would have a designer literally work with you so that the the, the approval process is much faster so if you say, oh, change that color background and make it red and change this and change that, it's happening right in front of you. So you don't have to go guess what they like and then guess that they approve this and then make changes and then, oh, no, it's not right. A lot of that back and forth is, is saved. So you save time and money by either working together in the same room or, or via a Zoom call. And that's a lot of a lot of the design work happens together with the client, um, at least in the initial stages. I like that because when I had my website built for real estate, I did go back and forth a lot. And I, you know, at, at a certain point, I felt bad asking for all these changes, but it wasn't what I wanted. And if we would have just been online together, I yeah. could have communicated that right away. I, I like that yeah. feature. So that's why my slogan is websites you control. Also, I, they're mostly built in WordPress so that you can actually have the ability to change the text and change things without having to break the site. You cannot break the site but you can update and change things yourself. But then if you need that extra touch and help we'll, over a Zoom call, we'll um, work with you. I get it. Why you call it instant edit now, makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> Instantedit.com because we're instantly editing it for you. And then you have the ability to edit it yourself instantly. I like that. So if I have a new listing, I have the ability to go on the back end and just add the pictures without having to ask you to, to add that or something minor right that is that what you're True. referring to and okay so what i tell people is if you want to edit content you want to change it's like if you can update a word document you can update your website but if you want to actually change functionality i want a booking calendar that um, um automatically creates a qr code that you cannot do i will do that and i'll set up the modules and the plugins so that it works perfectly for your for that feature so you don't have to worry about, oh, every time I need to change, I got to reach out. And I don't want to be called to say, hey, can you add a period to the sentence? Like, no, <laughs> I don't want right. a phone call. Yeah, and I, I like your um, payment feature because it's it's doable versus, versus upfront, you know, thousands of dollars. It's just something each month, right? So um, for me, I've been doing websites for over 20 years. I built websites mm -hmm. for large brands. Um, I ordered for... Um, I built, I redesigned websites for Sony Music for, um, I redid the Liberty Travel. I did Memorial Sloan Kettering Cancer Service. I worked with them for years. I worked on so many big websites. And when I worked with small businesses, it was always this scenario, like three, maybe $5,000 for a website, and you have to pay half up front and half in the, in the, in the begin, at the end. So let's say, is two thousand dollars in front, and then two thousand dollars at the end. That's a lot of cost for a small business to just shoulder right up the in the beginning. So what I've done is like breaking it up to like let's say it's three thousand dollars over a course of twenty four months. Then you're only paying like one twenty five a month for that design cost, and you get a sixty day money back guarantee. So your website will be up in thirty days. If you're not happy, you will get your one hundred percent money back guarantee. And the risk is like 200 bucks, not like $2,000. So that I think 
is really where I want to give as an option. But then let if let's say you decide, hey, no, I, I could do it in three payments, so just break it down. You then you have that payment option. Or you can have one payment option and that gives you a huge discount. And especially with the code, it's like hundreds of dollars off. So it just depends on what you feel like is the right choice for you. If you need something done quickly and you need it up really quickly, that's fine. If you need time to pay it off for some businesses, that's the case. Um, I could provide these options. I like that for small business owners, the, the lower risk up front. And then what does it cost to continue to host after the payment plan is over? Hosting is very affordable. It's usually mm -hmm. like with GoDaddy or anybody, it's like $10 to $20 mm -hmm. a month. And then a domain is like $11. So this, these are the prices of all hosting and everyone has to have a domain. So a lot of people already have, like you might say, hey, I already have my website hosted at GoDaddy and I have my um, domain name already. I just want to redesign website. That's no problem. Um, I in, usually push people and point them to my service so that I don't have to worry about anything um, breaking or anything happening on their servers but the cost is really the same. And then I have a maintenance plan too, that includes like, I will create blog posts or um, content for you so that there's traffic generated to your site. And that's, you know, a monthly fee of like $99 and you, you would have maintenance and content and that includes hosting. And that's why we all have websites is to generate traffic to our website. So that's yeah, I mean, I, 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 I pointed out like this, like, remember back in the days when you wanted to say, you know, talk about a yard sale or something, you put it on, go to all the telephone posts and you clip up, cut up a little piece of paper with your number. And then you just hope that someone's going to rip it off and call. Like that's what you're doing when you're setting up a website, literally, but there's a, billion other options out there. Why is someone going to go back to you? Because you have a great about page? No, it's because you have content that offers value to them. And the more content you put on your website, the higher you rank for SEO and the more that you offer in order to get an email, then you can just send them like you, I create a monthly reminder of like, this is interesting content of content about real estate. This is a, another interesting thing that you might want to know. You're top of mind. Then when they need an agent, they've been reading your blog articles for months and years. They're not going with anyone else. They trust you. Right. And I not only that, um, when somebody Googles a question like, uh, you know, how do I find a VA lender in Hawaii? Like if you have those certain words in there and you're doing articles on that, like on your blog, then I'm pretty sure your website will come up. Right. Is that? Yeah. So me, actually today, me and Marisa were, were, were talking. And so me, I have no idea about anything about VA loans or anything like that. But because of the innovations of ChatGPT and AI, Marisa was like, OK, so ask a question about the latest VA, VA loans in Hawaii. And it wrote a whole blog article. I could just she could just review it, make sure that it's it's actually correct, and then post it as evergreen content. What does that mean? Like this content will live in the internet forever and constantly be telling you people this is valuable information and you get it from one place, and that's Marisol. So go to Marisol and, and she's the expert. And that is so important. This is really important for Google and it's really important for SEO. Another thing too. Um, a lot of the businesses that I noticed in Hawaii, especially, you try to search for them on Google and you cannot even find them because they can't even do simple things like a Google My Business um, setup. Right. So being found on Google Maps is so important. And that's like the basics of what I, what I do for every client. That is Can the I, basics. Oh, sorry, Barbara. Um, so that chat, the GPT, so I he was telling me about it. I'm like, I don't understand what you're saying. Let's play with an example. It it blew my mind because it was, we asked one question and it was just, I mean, it was an essay. Like a, literally, it was unbelievable, the amount of information. So what would have put, you know, taken me maybe an hour to put together. I have the information, right, in bits and pieces here and there, and I'm doing research. But it just spit it out in like seconds. And then you just go back and you already have a, a platform. Basically, you have a blueprint, so to speak. 
And I, there are some discrepancies and there's some things that I'm like, Ooh, this needs to be updated. You know, it's not perfect, but it, I mean, I could just see that the, the time it would save, you know, if it's a topic on, you know, scuba diving, let's say it doesn't matter what it is, but it was unbelievable how quickly it basically wrote out a, a presentation. <laughs> and I'm like, wow, this could be very uh, helpful. Hey, you know what else yeah. you could do? Like when you have a listing, it could put together just the description of your listing using words that you would never even think about using. Or like sometimes I go on and I'm like, what's the synonym for? Because I've already used this word, but it puts it together. I'm so excited. On Thursday, I'm taking a, um, a like a webinar I've signed up for from the National Association of Realtors. And they're going to talk about chat, GPT, um, AI. It's the next big thing. Like if you don't, Get on it now you're gonna you're gonna be lost Go and the thing lost. is that people are using it now and so it's not like hey if you're not on the bandwagon you're gonna get left behind no if you're not on if you're not you're not using it now it's not like you're gonna be left behind people are gonna be miles away you're trying to catch up because it's it's just so incredibly useful for every single they have so many use cases and um, business use cases. So that's what I want to bring to the table, like teach people, um, um, help young people uh, be able to have these skills and then offer it as a service for the people that don't want to do it themselves. Let us, the experts, um, find solutions for AI that will make your business way more successful and um, allow you to produce 10 times as much in a fraction of the time. So speaking of growing our brand online, um, what is your, I guess, what is, how do you create email funnels? Great question. Great question. So again, email is the most important thing for an online business and, and, um, because when people go to a website, they go to a website and they visit it and they're going to make a decision. They're going to decide, you know, Go to this website and either buy or I'm going to leave. Everyone leaves your website eventually. But the question is, do they come back? If they come back, it's for a reason, because there's something there. And so the key is to have engaging content that keeps people coming back. But if you capture an email, you can be sending that engaging content to people over the long term, keeping, that, keeping your business top of mind and giving them reasons to come back. So in, in that cycle, of emails starts to grow and those emails become very valuable when you have a special offer or you have a promotion then every time you send an email you new customers are actually making purchases and that is how your business really grows so I, um the technicalities of how to set up an email funnel like are you going to use constant contact or are you going to use mailchimp or are you going to use um zapier or all that's for me to kind of like assess based on what your existing um, sales funnels are, but how to actually make it really well designed and how to actually strategize on giving the um, visitor something that they would want to say, give your their email in return. That's the, that's the beginning step with, with Instagram, with us. With the Hispanic Chamber of Commerce, that's what we started using was MailChimp for yeah. our newsletter, also so great name, Hola y Aloha. So have you received it? Yes, I love that Aloha <laughs> um, newsletter. The, the thing about MailChimp though, is that after a while, you, once you want to get to the automated features and everything, it's, 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 it's a third party system. What I do is integrate it into your website itself. And then you could push to your MailChimp if you want to, or, and you could, but at first that whole list of emails is in your database, it's in your, it's in your um, platform. So having ownership of your actual contacts is very important. And then you can use these other tools to send reminders and automated newsletters like you do so well. Yes, and we have so much great content to share because you know we it's easy for the Hispanic Chamber with our members, there, there's always something going on. So um, <laughs> I'm learning how to do the email funnel. So now I can apply it for my business as well. Yeah. And I think the, the thing about email automation is that it starts to snowball. People start to share. You have to make sure that every single image has a, a link to it because people click on it. And that's the basic mistake that a lot of people do. They don't make everything a link. Um, you also so people start to share. People start to um, see that email in the inbox and they don't ignore it because it's got 
something that they want to see. And sometimes, it's, you know, you might even see yourself in there. So and, and on one of the pictures from one of the amazing events, you know, which I'm excited about. I love, I love it. Yeah, I'm glad you look forward to it. And you're right. I do put a link on every picture because if you click on it, it'll take you to that company, their website. And that's what we want to do is promote our, our members. So I'm glad and then you they promote it you out. back. And that's right? how things grow. Yeah, and we get to see new subscribers and, you know, very few unsubscribes. So it's it's got a good um, rate of, you know, people that open it up and read it. So I, I like looking at those statistics. Yeah, yeah, it's very well done. So how do people find you, Edwin? So again, just instantedit.com is where you would find. And if you go to instantedit.com slash HCCH, that's where you could get that discount code for 20% on web design. But yeah, that's that's the basic way you where you can find me. Um, contact me directly from the website. Um, and my email is edwin at, at instantedit.com. And any social media you want to share? Sure. Uh, at, you, if you go to try instant edit at any social media, so that's Instagram, Facebook, um, TikTok, um, Twitter, those that handle try instant edit is on all the platforms. And that's another thing that I do for the companies, too, is I try to make sure they have a consistent um, social media um, platform if possible. Great. Uh, Marisol, do you have anything else you would like to ask Edwin? I know I'm just really excited to, to work with him and, and, and see what we can create. <laughs> yeah, I'm excited yeah. to work together and see how you grow and, um, and my business can grow and we can all grow together as a Hispanic community, but also serving the Hawaiian community. Exactly. Well, thank you for joining us. We have some upcoming events we want to share with you. So um, May 6th, we have a Walk to Cure Arthritis that's going to be at Aloha Towers. So we've uh, partnered with the Arthritis Foundation of Hawaii. They're one of our members and we're gonna be out there supporting them from 9 a.m. to 11 a.m. If you wanna join our walk team, we um, will share the link with you. And um, our next show is gonna be May 10th. So our special guest is gonna be Dan Barreto. He spoke at our last breakfast networking event and he is gonna be discussing, um, well, the last networking event, he discussed violence and how to recognize it before it recognizes you. So we'll have him on a, as a guest on our next show, which is going to be in two weeks. And um, this is Ola Aloha on Think Tech Hawaii. We've been talking with Edwin Rogers with instantedit.com about all things technology. And thanks to Edwin and Marisol Ruiz, our co-host, for joining us today for this educational topic. Um, thank you to our viewers for joining us on Think Tech Hawaii. We'll be back in two weeks. So please tune in, share with all your friends. And this is Barbara DeLuca. Adios y aloha, everyone. Adios. Thank you so much for watching Think Tech Hawaii. If you like what we do, please like us and click the subscribe button on YouTube and the follow button on Vimeo. You can also follow us on Facebook. Instagram, and LinkedIn, and donate to us at thinktechhawaii.com. Mahalo.